Back to online darts, we're at the side of the bank and we've got the silverback Tony O'Shea. Tony, just see you pull a, pull a nice little one in there. How's the fishing going so far? Uh, that's the problem, they're all little ones like that. <laughs> I'm basically feeding the fish, not catching them. Yeah, it's uh, first proper goat fishing, so yeah, I'm enjoying it. I saw you made a return to the live league last week and seemed to thoroughly enjoy it. Um, the first night, um, I played a lot better than I thought I would, and then I don't know where I'm on the second night, I don't know whether I ran out of energy or, or what, but uh, yeah, I really enjoyed proper face-to-face -face darts, first time in 18 months, isn't it? So yeah, I'd love to do it again soon. <laughs> I said, were there, were there nerves going back and playing for the first time properly like that in that environment? Oh, dead right, yeah. I mean, I've done online stuff before, you know, they set the camera up at home, but it's just not the same. I mean, I played in bare feet in that. <laughs> you get too comfy, I think. So I don't think you throw your natural, your natural game. With, with darts coming back, obviously the, the WDF and the, the mad stuff, are we going to see more of the silverback out again? Yeah, obviously I had the... Um, got another one. I had the... Uh, another small Really deep, though. It's took the uh, what's it? It's took the bait. It's gone up to the rope. Did you just pull that? As you can see, I'm not an expert. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, obviously before it went off in Holland, you know, I had arranged to go to the Dutch Open, which was early September, so that's gone now. So it just makes you wonder whether we'll really get that much in this year now. You know, people are scared of travelling, and obviously the Dutch have wiped that out. And, uh, so I'm not booking anything until the very we last minute. Do you worry that the Masters might not happen after all this? Uh, to be honest, Holland's got it bad at the moment, so I can I can see that going, and then all of a sudden, you know, that's another year with no majors, so it's going to be difficult for people to get get the ranking points because obviously we can't travel to do the tournaments. I just hope everything goes well at Selsey in in uh, September. Very sad couple of weeks. Obviously, we lost Andy Fordham, someone who you knew very well and played many times. With very sad day for darts. Well, it was my first day down at the online, <clears throat> and um, as soon as you heard the news, I thought, right, I'm, I went and raised a glass to him. Maybe that's why I played well. I was quite emotional, really. I mean, same as Daryl, I've shared a bed with him, never mind a room, you know. <laughs> when needs must, especially with England, I had some great times with Andy, and he had such a sense of humour. I mean, anyone who met him knows that anyway, but such a great sense of humour, such a sad loss. But I can see, I can see how much it, it meant to you. And did, yeah. it, did it hit, did it hit you hard when you find out as well? Because, like you say, with that team England that you had during that period, it was very, very tight, close. Yeah, I mean, probably the best team I ever played in was I paired Andy with the pairs. We lost to Martin and Merv in the final of the goal at the World Cup. So, and we won the World Cup a couple of times that team. And yeah, great set of lads. I mean, until you spend sort of a week together, you don't really know a person. But yeah, we had some great times and. Yeah, brilliant. Good memories as well as being sad as well. So. Yeah. WDF returns to Lakeside as well. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to potentially being involved? I think it's a no-brainer. I mean, obviously, without the tournaments, I'm not in the ranking. So if I'm there, I'll, I'll be doing a bit of commentary, I think, or I hope. But, but I'm, I'm aiming to go again and play there, obviously. It's, uh, I've just started to play well again before lockdown as well. So, yeah, that's, what else am I going to do at my age? Just play darts, isn't it? <laughs> For you, was it a necessity that it went back to the lakeside as well? Well, when it left there, I mean, I just couldn't get it, and I think nearly everyone else thought the same. I mean, you know, the prize money was guaranteed. Why would you, why would you 
you bend three hundred fifty thousand in prize money to try a new venue without the sponsorship already in place. So, yeah, that was crazy that. But I think every sport's got its its iconic home, and, and with, especially with the BDO, it was the Lakeside, and uh, BDO's gone. So hopefully, the WDF can can get it back to what, what it was. Tony, pleasure as always, mate. Thank you very much. Mate. Cheers. Thank you.